Hello again. Uh, this is uh, just a quick review of some very basic mathematical techniques that we'll use again and again in this course. I'm presuming that everybody knows how to do this already, but hopefully this will uh, make it easier for you as you go through the lecture notes. You've seen this recently and it all it's all really clear. Okay, so let's start with, uh, so I'm going through, you'll see slides 43 and 44 in the um, mathematical refresher. So we start with a simple linear equation. It says y, y is a variable, is equal to a times x, uh, where a is a parameter, which is fixed, and x is a variable, which are allowing to vary, plus b, which is another parameter, times z, which is another variable. So this is one equation in uh, three variables, x, y, and z, and uh, two parameters, a and b. Now, let y1 be defined as a times x1 plus b times z1. So we're considering y1 is what y is when x is equal to x1, and z is equal to z1. And we're also going to define y2 as being a x2 plus b z2. So that's um, a x plus b z evaluated at x2 and z2. All right. Now I'm going to define a little bit of notation here. Let delta y be defined as, whoops, delta y be defined as y2 minus y1. And let delta x be x2 minus x1, and delta z, z2 minus z1. So delta y is a change in y, going from y1 to y2, and similarly for change in x and change in z. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this equation delta y is equal to y2 minus y1, and I'm just going to substitute in, first of all, this y2 we have here. Just plug it right in there, and we're going to take y1 and plug that in there. And that then gives us this equation here. Change in y is equal to ax2 plus bz2 minus, brackets, ax1 plus bz1, close brackets. Just a straightforward substitution. Okay, now um, just collecting terms, same equation, just uh, factoring out the a. So we've got a times now x2 minus x1 plus b times z2 minus z1. Now you'll see that x2 minus x1 is, of course, our old friend delta x, or change in x. And similarly, z2 minus z1 is change in z. So that brings us to really the result that I'm after here. Change in y is equal to a times change in x plus b times change in z. So knowing this, what we can do is for any linear equation, like uh, equation 8 above, just take a look at equation 8 again. If you have an equation like this, y is equal to ax plus bz for any parameters a and b and any variables x and y, then you can jump immediately to equation 9 that says change in y is equal to a times change in x plus b times change in z. So this is the sort of technique we'll actually use again and again throughout this course, um, particularly when we're looking at policy changes and the impact that they have on, uh, on output and other macro variables. So one last point. I've done this to, for just two variables here, x and z, but this generalizes completely to as many variables as you want. So you could have you know, 20 variables on the right-hand side if, uh, if you want. And if it's a linear equation like this, you can once again just jump to this second equation where you get the change in the variable on the left-hand side equal to the parameters times the change in the variables on the right-hand side. Okay.